As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie. Yeah, it's getting colder. Soon I won't be able to do my vlogs outside. So today I'm gonna talk about Miami. I'm gonna give you guys a little review of what I thought of Miami, my experiences, and what Miami is all about. First of all, what I've noticed when we drove into Miami were the cars. They were definitely really expensive. They've had like Ferrari, Maserati, Lamborghini, Rolls Royce, Porsche, they had all those super expensive cars there. The most owned cars, I would say, would be Lexus, Mercedes, and Beamers. Basically, like, every third car you see is, like, a Mercedes or Lexus or a Beamer. So, it's, it's a really, really rich city, so everyone drives really nice rides there. And that was definitely something I really liked about Miami, because I like to see nice, expensive cars out on the road. I just think it's really awesome. So when I got up the next day, I decided to go to the beach, just take a walk. It's about a five minute walk from the yacht club where we stay. The next thing I've noticed about Miami was there was so much beautiful women. Like there was tons of beautiful women. As you're walking down the street, you know, people walking towards you, past you, and you notice there are a lot of really pretty women there. Of course, most of them are fake. They have fake lips and fake everything else, but um, they are definitely really beautiful. Um, on the face. As we were just tanning on the beach, relaxing, breathing in the salty, fresh ocean air, we obviously couldn't help but notice all those Cubans. Also, the area where we stayed had a lot of Russians there. There was like tons of them and you can hear it everywhere. Guess what? I guess there's, I don't know, they're just rich. So like in our case, I think it was better off speaking English than Russian because they would understand us better in Russian. So I, I tried to speak more English there. That way, you know, if I'm talking about someone to my sister, they wouldn't be like, oh, you guys problem? Also, Miami has a lot of those like bald, big nosed men with chains. And they're all buff and they're Russian too. Uh, or they're like, um, I don't know, my mom said it was, they may be Jewish. I don't know. I don't know. They may be a different nationality, but they do speak Russian. I know that for sure because I've seen a lot of them there and I've heard them talk and it's crazy because they all look alike. No offense to bald, big-nosed men. No offense. If you are a girl and you went to Miami and you didn't notice this, you're probably not a girl. Men stare at you like crazy there. They, they, they walk you with their eyes like wherever you're walking. It was kind of weird at first, but then I kind of got used to it by the end of the week. That's the truth. I can't say it any other way because I guess because there's a lot of beautiful ladies, they're so used to staring at them all the time and they think it's fine to stare at you like constantly, you know? I mean, I'm not saying it's not fine. I'm just saying, I mean, you kind of have to like pretty up all the time because if people constantly stare at you, it's almost like, you know, it's almost like you feel like something's wrong with you, but then you're like, oh no, nothing's wrong. I just look good. So you always have to be uptighty, you know, like you have to be perfect. Your stomach has to be sucked in. You have to be, you know, pretty and tan and not peeling. My face was like peeling, but yet they still stared. So Latin and Cuban people in Miami are super awesome. And obviously they just like rule Miami. So if you go there, you're definitely gonna run into a lot of them and you're gonna hear their beautiful music every time. It just makes you wanna dance. It's like super awesome. It charges you up, it gives you energy and I don't know. There's just something special about that music. It's just so beautiful. Oh, one more thing I didn't tell you guys. Probably the most important thing I didn't tell you guys. There's a lot of sugar daddies, especially when you get out on the weekends Oh my, you're gonna see them all over the place. You're gonna see those beautiful, young, fake ladies and older men who own Rolls Royce and all those super awesome cars. And of course, they're older than the woman. A lot older, maybe bolder. <laughs> Most of them are bald. Okay, whatever, they're, they're all old. That's why they're called sugar daddies. Seriously, like I've seen this girl that was probably like my age. She was super young, super beautiful. She was a Cuban 
and oh my she, yeah she was with a guy who was like twice as older than her if not more and obviously he was super dirt rich like no offense to those girls or like no judging but I think that you should own your own success first and get to the heights you want to get to and you know do what you want to do and if if that guy you know is is your real true love then go for him to me I think it is a big deal because I don't think it's right to be with someone because of the money it's it's not right overall I think that Miami was a really fun trip I loved it would I move there yes I would this very instant if I could it's 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 kind of cold out today and I'm like oh, I wish I was back in Miami and back tanning and sunbathing on the beach and yeah but it's okay I am hoping that that will happen soon and I will be able to enjoy, you know, life on the beach. I definitely want to, you know, have a nice place not far from the beach and enjoy life the way it is because life is given once and we live it only once. We can't waste it. We got to do everything we want to do in our lives. So I encourage you guys to do the same because if you waste it, guess what? There's no one else to blame except yourself. Thanks for watching my vlog, and if you have any comments, please list them below. Also, please share on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and please like and subscribe to my channel because I will be very thankful to you. Thank you.